dox hunt. The dox hunt, UK, slash dakshendi slash or or, also known as the sausage dog or wiener dog, is a short-legged, long-bodied, hound-type dog breed. The standard size dox hunt was developed to scent, chase, and flush out badgers and other burrow-dwelling animals, while the miniature dox hunt was bred to hunt smaller prey such as rabbits. In the United States, they have also been used to track wounded deer and hunt prairie dogs. Dox hunts also participate in confirmation shows, field trials and many other events organized through purebred dog organizations such as the American Kennel Club, AKC. According to the AKC, the dox hunt is ranked in 13th place in popularity amongst dog breeds in the United States. The name dox hunt is of German origin and literally means badger dog, from dox, European badger, and hunt, hound, dog. The pronunciation varies widely in English, variations of the first and second syllables include, and. Although Dachshund is a German word, in modern German they are more commonly known by the name Dackel or Tekel. The German word is pronounced. Because of their long, narrow build, they are often nicknamed Wiener Dog or Sausage Dog. Dachshund may be mispronounced as Dash Hound by some English speakers. While classified in the Hound Group or Scent Hound Group in the United States and Great Britain, the breed actually has its own group in the countries which belong to the Federation Sinologica Internationale, World Canine Federation. Many dox hunts, especially the wire-haired subtype, may exhibit behavior and appearance that are similar to that of the terrier group of dogs. An argument can be made for the scent, or hound, group classification because the breed was developed to use scent to trail and hunt animals, and probably descended from the St. Hubert hound like many modern scent hound breeds such as bloodhounds and basset hounds but with a persistent personality and love for digging that probably developed from the terrier, it can also be argued that they could belong in the terrier, or earth dog, group. A typical dachshund is long-bodied and muscular with short stubby legs. Its front paws are disproportionately large, being paddle-shaped and particularly suitable for digging. Its skin is loose enough not to tear while tunneling in tight burrows to chase prey. The dachshund has a deep chest which provides appropriate lung capacity for stamina when hunting. Its snout is long. According to the AKC standards for the breed, scars from honorable wounds shall not be considered a fault because the dachshund is a hunting dog. There are three dachshund coat varieties, smooth coat, short hair, long-haired, and wire-haired. Long-haired dachshunds have a silky coat and short featherings and legs and ears. Wire-haired dachshunds are the least common coat variety in the United States, although it is the most common in Germany and the most recent code to appear in breeding standards. Dachshunds have a wide variety of colors and patterns, the most common one being red. Their base coloration can be single-colored, either red or cream, tan-pointed, black and tan, chocolate and tan, blue and tan, or Isabella and tan, and in wire hair dogs, a color referred to as wild boar. Patterns such as dapple, merle, sable, brindle and piebald also can occur on any of the base colors. Dachshunds in the same litter may be born in different coat colors depending on the genetic makeup of the parents. The dominant color in the breed is red, followed by black and tan. Tan pointed dogs have tan, or cream, markings over the eyes, ears, paws, and tail. The reds range from coppers to deep rusts, with or without somewhat common black hairs peppered along the back, face, and ear edges, lending much character and an almost burnished appearance. This is referred to among breeders and enthusiasts as an overlay or sabling. Sabling should not be confused with a more unusual coat color referred to as sable. At a distance, a sable dachshund looks somewhat like a black and tan dog. Upon closer examination, however, one can observe that along the top of the dog's body, each hair is actually banded with red at the base near the skin, transitioning to mostly black along the length of the strand. An additional striking coat marking is the brindle pattern. Brindle refers to dark stripes over a solid background. Usually red. If a dachshund is brindled on a dark coat and has tan points, it will have brindling on the tan points only. Even one single, lone stripe of brindle is a brindle. If a dachshund has one single spot of dapple, it is a dapple. The Dachshund Club of America, DCA, and the American Kennel Club, AKC, consider both the piebald pattern and the double dapple, double merle, pattern to be non standard. However, both types continue to be shown and sometimes even when in the confirmation ring. Dogs that are double dappled have the merle pattern of a dapple, but with distinct white patches that occur when the dapple gene expresses itself twice in the same area of the coat. 
The DCA excluded the wording double dapple from the standard in 2007 and now strictly use the wording dapple as the double dapple gene is commonly responsible for blindness and deafness. Dachshunds come in three sizes, standard, miniature, and kaninchen, German for rabbit. Although the standard and miniature sizes are recognized almost universally, the rabbit size is not recognized by clubs in the United States and the United Kingdom. The rabbit size is recognized by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, World Canine Federation, FCI, which contain kennel clubs from 83 countries all over the world. An increasingly common size for family pets falls between the miniature and the standard size, frequently referred to as tweenies, not an official classification. A full-grown standard dachshund averages to, while the miniature variety normally weighs less than. The caninchen weighs to. According to Kennel Club standards, the miniature, and caninchen, where recognized, differs from the full size only by size and weight, thus offspring from miniature parents must never weigh more than the miniature standard to be considered a miniature as well. While many Kennel Club size divisions use weight for classification, such as the American Kennel Club, other Kennel Club standards determine the difference between the miniature and standard by chest circumference, some Kennel Clubs, such as in Germany even measure chest circumference in addition to height and weight. H. L. Mencken said that a dachshund is a half duck high and a dog and a half long, although they have been referred to as two dogs long. This characteristic has led them to be quite a recognizable breed, and they are featured in many a joke and cartoon, particularly The Far Side by Gary Larson. Light-colored dachshunds can sport amber, light brown, or green eyes, however, kennel club standards state that the darker the eye color, the better. They can also have eyes of two different colors, however, this is only found in dapple and double dapple dachshunds. Dachshunds can have a blue and a brown eye. Blue eyes, partially blue eyes, or a blue eye and a brown eye are called wall coloring, and are considered a non-desirable trait in kennel club standards. Dappled eyes are also possible. Wall eye is permissible according to DCA standards. Piebald pattern dachshunds will never have blue in their eyes, unless the dapple pattern is present. Dachshunds are playful, but as hunting dogs can be quite stubborn, and are known for their propensity for chasing small animals, birds, and tennis balls with great determination and ferocity. Many dachshunds are stubborn, making them a challenge to train. Dachshunds can be aggressive to strangers and other dogs. Despite this, they are rated in the intelligence of dogs as an average working dog with a persistent ability to follow train commands 50% of the time or more. They rank 49th in Stanley Corrin's intelligence of dogs, being of average working and obedience intelligence. They can have a loud bark. Some bark quite a lot and may need training to stop, while others will not bark much at all. Dachshunds are known for their devotion and loyalty to their owners, though they can be standoffish towards strangers. If left alone, many dachshunds will whine until they have companionship. Like many dogs, if left alone too frequently, some dachshunds are prone to separation anxiety and may chew objects in the house to relieve stress. Dachshunds are burrowers by nature and are likely to burrow in blankets and other items around the house, when bored or tired. Dachshunds can be difficult to housebreak, and patience and consistency is often needed in this endeavor. According to the American Kennel Club's breed standards, the dachshund is clever, lively and courageous to the point of rashness, persevering in above and below ground work, with all the senses well developed. Any display of shyness is a serious fault. Their temperament and body language give the impression that they do not know or care about their relatively small size. Like many small hunting dogs, they will challenge a larger dog. Indulge dachshunds may become snappy or extremely obstinate. Many dachshunds do not like unfamiliar people, and many will growl or bark at them. Although the dachshund is generally an energetic dog, some are sedate. This dog's behavior is such that it is not the dog for everyone. A bored, untrained dachshund will become destructive. If raised improperly and not socialized at a young age, dachshunds can become aggressive or fearful. They require a caring, loving owner who understands their need for entertainment and exercise. Dachshunds may not be the best pets for small children. Like any dog, dachshunds need a proper introduction at a young age. Well trained dachshunds and well behaved children usually get along fine. Otherwise, they may be aggressive and bite an unfamiliar child especially one that moves quickly around them or teases them. However, many dachshunds are very tolerant and loyal to children within their family, but these children should be mindful of the vulnerability of the breed's back. 
Tech, a 2008 University of Pennsylvania study of 6,000 dog owners who were interviewed indicated that dogs of smaller breeds were more likely to be genetically predisposed towards aggressive behavior. Dox hunts were rated the most aggressive, with 20% having bitten strangers, as well as high rates of attacks in other dogs and their owners. The study noted that attacks by small dogs were unlikely to cause serious injuries and because of this were probably underreported. The breed is prone to spinal problems, especially intervertebral disc disease, IVDD, due in part to an extremely long spinal column and short rib cage. The risk of injury may be worsened by obesity, jumping, rough handling, or intense exercise, which place greater strain on the vertebrae. About 20 to 25% of dox hunts will develop IVDD. Treatment consists of combinations of crate confinement and courses of anti-inflammatory medications, steroids and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like carprofen and meloxicam, or chronic pain medications, like tramadol. Serious cases may require surgery to remove the troublesome disc contents. A dog may need the aid of a car to get around if paralysis occurs. A minimally invasive procedure called percutaneous laser disc ablation has been developed at the Oklahoma State University Veterinary Hospital. Originally, the procedure was used in clinical trials only on dox hunts that had suffered previous back incidents. Since dox hunts are prone to back issues, the goal is to expand this treatment to dogs in a normal population. In addition to back problems, the breed is prone to patellar luxation where the kneecap can become dislodged. Dachshunds may also be affected by osteogenesis imperfecta, brittle bone disease. The condition seems to be mainly limited to wire-haired dachshunds, with 17% being carriers. A genetic test is available to allow breeders to avoid breeding carriers to carriers. In such pairings, each puppy will have a 25% chance of being affected. In some double dapples, there are varying degrees of vision and hearing loss, including reduced or absent eyes. Not all double dapples have problems with their eyes and or ears, which may include degrees of hearing loss, full deafness, malformed ears, congenital eye defects, reduced or absent eyes, partial or full blindness, or varying degrees of both vision and hearing problems, but heightened problems can occur due to the genetic process in which two dapple genes cross, particularly in certain breeding lines. Dapple genes, which are dominant genes, are considered dilution genes, meaning whatever colored dog would have originally carried is lightened, or diluted, randomly, two dominant dilution genes can cancel each other out, or cross, removing all color and producing a white recessive gene, essentially a white mutation. When occurring genetically within the eyes or ears, this white mutation can be detrimental to development, causing hearing or vision problems. Other dachshund health problems include hereditary epilepsy, granulomatous meningoencephalitis, dental issues, Cushing's syndrome, thyroid and autoimmune problems, various allergies and atopies, and various eye conditions including cataracts, glaucoma, progressive retinal atrophy, corneal ulcers, non-ulcerative corneal disease, sudden acquired retinal degeneration, and cherry eye. Dachshunds are also 2.5 times more likely than other breeds of dogs to develop patent ductus arteriosus, a congenital heart defect. Dilute colored dogs, blue, Isabella, and cream, are very susceptible to color dilution alopecia, a skin disorder that can result in hair loss and extreme sensitivity to sun. Since the occurrence and severity of these health problems is largely hereditary, breeders are working to eliminate these. Factors influencing the litter size of puppies and the proportion of stillborn puppies per litter were analyzed in normally sized German dox hunts. The records analyzed contained data on 42,855 litters. It was found that as the inbreeding coefficient increased, litter size decreased and the percentage of stillborn puppies increased, thus indicating inbreeding depression. It was also found that young and older dams had smaller litter sizes and more stillborn puppies than middle aged dams. Some writers and dachshund experts have theorized that the early roots of the dachshund go back to ancient Egypt, where engravings were made featuring short-legged hunting dogs. Recent discoveries by the American University in Cairo of mummified dachshund-like dogs from ancient Egyptian burial learns may lend credibility to this theory. In its modern incarnation, the dachshund is a creation of German breeders and includes elements of German, French, and English hounds and terriers. Dox hunts have been kept by royal courts all over Europe, including that of Queen Victoria, who was particularly enamored of the breed. The first verifiable references to the Dox hunt, originally named the Dox Cricker, Badger Crawler, or Dox Creaker, Badger Warrior, K. 
came from books written in the early 18th century. Prior to that, there exist references to badger dogs and whole dogs, but these likely refer to purposes rather than to specific breeds. The original German dachshunds were larger than the modern full-size variety, weighing between, and originally came in straight-legged and crook-legged varieties, the modern dachshund is descended from the latter. Though the breed is famous for its use in exterminating badgers and badger baiting, dachshunds were also commonly used for rabbit and fox hunting, for locating wounded deer, and in packs were known to hunt game as large as wild boar and as fierce as the wolverine. There are huge differences of opinion as to when dachshunds were specifically bred for their purpose of badger hunting, as the American Kennel Club states the dachshund was bred in the 15th century, while the Dachshund Club of America states that foresters bred the dogs in the 18th or 19th century. Double dapple dachshunds, which are prone to eye disease, blindness, or hearing problems, are generally believed to have been introduced to the United States between 1879 and 1885. The flap down ears and famous curved tail of the dachshund have deliberately been bred into the dog. In the case of the ears, this is to keep grass seeds, dirt, and other matter from entering the ear canal. The curved tail is dual purposed, to be seen more easily in long grass and, in the case of burrowing dachshunds, to help haul the dog out if it becomes stuck in a burrow. The smooth haired dachshund, the oldest style, may be a cross between the German short haired pointer, a pincher, and a braca, a type of bloodhound or to have been produced by crossing a short Bruno Jura hound with a pincher. Others believe it was a cross from a miniature French pointer and a pincher, others claim that it was developed from the St. Hubert hound, also a bloodhound, in the 18th century, and still others believe that they were descended from basset hounds, based upon their scent abilities and general appearance. Dasks hounds can track a scent that is more than a week old. The exact origins of the ducks hunt are therefore unknown. According to William Leffler, from the American Book of the Dog, 1891, in the chapter on dox hunts, the origin of the dox hunt is in doubt, our best authorities disagreeing as to the beginning of the breed. What can be agreed on, however, is that the short-haired dox hunt gave rise to both the long-haired and the wire-haired varieties. There are two theories about how the standard long-haired dox hunt came about. One theory is that smooth dox hunts would occasionally produce puppies which had slightly longer hair than their parents. By selectively breeding these animals, breeders eventually produced a dog which consistently produced long hair offspring, and the long hair dachshund was born. Another theory is that the standard long hair dachshund was developed by breeding smooth dachshunds with various land and water spaniels. The long haired dachshund may be a cross among any of the small dog breeds in the spaniel group, including the German Stoberhund and the smooth haired dachshund. The wire haired dachshund, the last to develop, was bred in the late 19th century. There is a possibility the wire-haired dachshund was a cross between Tay Smooth dachshund and various hard-coated terriers and wire-haired pinchers, such as the Schnauzer, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, the German wire-haired pointer, or perhaps the Scottish Terrier. Dachshunds have traditionally been viewed as a symbol of Germany. Political cartoonists commonly used the image of the dachshund to ridicule Germany. During World War I, the dachshund's popularity in the United States plummeted because of this association. As a result, they were often called Liberty Hounds by their owners, similar to Liberty Cabbage, becoming a term for sauerkraut mostly in North America. The stigma of the association was revived to a lesser extent during World War II, though it was comparatively short lived. Kaiser Wilhelm II and German Field Marshal Erwin Rommel were known for keeping dachshunds. Due to the association of the breed with Germany, as well as its popularity among dog keepers in Munich, the dachshund was chosen to be the first official mascot for the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich, with the name Waldi. Some people train and enter their dachshund to compete in dachshund races, such as the Wiener Nationals. Several races across the United States routinely draw several thousand attendees, including races in Germantown, Tennessee, Bossier City, Louisiana, Buda, Texas, Davis, California, Phoenix, Arizona, Los Alamitos, California, Findlay, Ohio, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Kansas City, Kansas, Palo Alto, California, Shakopee, Minnesota. There is also an annual dox hunt run in Kennywood, located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania called the Wiener 100, in Huntington, West Virginia called the Dachshund Dash and in Lovettsville, Virginia as part of the town's annual Oktoberfest celebration. Despite the popularity of these events, the Dachshund Club of America opposes Wiener racing, 
as many Greyhound tracks use the events to draw large crowds to their facilities. The DCA is also worried about potential injuries to dogs, due to their predisposition to back injuries. Another favorite sport is earth dog trials, in which dogs hone center tunnels with dead ends and obstacles attempting to locate an artificial bait or live but caged and protected rats. In Germany, dox hunts are widely called dackel, both singular and plural. Among hunters, they are mainly referred to as teckel. There are kennels which specialize in breeding hunting dox hunts, the so-called Jagdliche Lice Tungsucht, hunting performance breed, or Gbrox Hunt Azuvt, working dog breed, as opposed to breeding family dogs. Therefore, it is sometimes incorrectly believed that teckel is either a name for the hunting breed or a mark for passing the test for a trained hunting dog, called VGP. For Benji Brouchsprufung, in Germany. Dox hunts are one of the most popular dogs in the United States, ranking 13th in the 2016 AKC registration statistics. They are popular with urban and apartment dwellers, ranking among the top 10 most popular breeds in 76 of 190 major U.S. cities surveyed by the AKC. One will find varying degrees of organized local dox hunt clubs in most major American cities, including New York, New Orleans, Portland. Los Angeles, and Chicago. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.